Well, today these are busy times at Mercedes-Benz, home to the most popular team in Major League Soccer and home, of course, to the Atlanta Falcons, who would like nothing more than to play in the Super Bowl in their own stadium in February. I sat down with Arthur Blank at the stadium today, and that's where we began. It's an honor to host the Super Bowl in Atlanta, and it's an honor to host it in our stadium. Um, so I would probably five times that honor <laughs> if we're if we're playing in the game. But you know, it's it's a long way. It's a long season. This is Arthur Blank's 18th year as Falcons owner after 23 running Home Depot. He has learned a lot about how to win and what customers care about. Uh, you're making a splash by reducing concession prices and it's becoming a bit of a national trend. Uh, uh, what, what was the strategy behind that? There's been a lot of contributions by our fans to build this, help us build this building and to attend events here, soccer games, football games, concerts, other events, private events of, of a variety of kinds. And so we want to find ways to say thank you to the fans, to say I appreciate you and I appreciate uh, your commitment, not only of your financial resources, but of your time, your energy, your passion. And fans have responded. He says with food and beverage prices cut in half, Mercedes-Benz now sells as much in the first quarter as the Georgia Dome sold in an entire game. Let me ask you about the anthem. Uh, you've been very supportive of the players, their First Amendment right, uh, and you said this is a work in progress. Of course, the president brings it up every opportunity he has. H how do you think this should ultimately be resolved? Well, I think the, the, the best way it can be resolved, which is, you know, I think the, the major step is that the NFL and the NFLPA, the union, the players' union, are sitting and talking together about this. That didn't happen in the past. What do you want? Well, you know, what I, what I want is, is really two things. I would like our players to stand. I think that's the right thing to do. And he says he and other owners are working with the players to address with both money and political action the social issues they care about. It's about the issues, and we want to make progress in those issues. We want to move it from protest to progress. And I think that across the league that's happening. Yeah, you so, understand, though, why the president's complaint resonates with a lot of Americans. Yeah, I do understand that. And, you know, um, I, I think that um, we can't focus, in my opinion, humble opinion, uh, in the most respectful way, we can't, we can't respond to what the president is, is saying necessarily. We have, to, we have to respond to what we know the real issues are. On a lighter note, who else? Guess who? The Blank is enjoying the record-breaking performance of his other professional sports franchise. Are you at all surprised by the success of, of Atlanta United? I mean, it, for decades, soccer had a hard time getting off the ground. Uh, you you get in the game and no, it, and no, it explodes. No, of course I mean, I'm come surprised. on. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I would say I, I had every uh, confidence that it was going to be very successful. It's just a great opportunity to be here with everybody else and to have the five most most attended games in the history of the sport and the you know average attendance is 50 yard thousand plus a game and next closest is 40 and the rest of the league is at less than 27. I mean we're thrilled about that. And Arthur Blank says Major League Soccer is thrilled about Atlanta's success too, confident that it can be replicated across the country. Tonight?